welcome to the 2020 eighth grade recognition virtual ceremony. Although we could not have this ceremony in person, we would like to honor you, our eighth grade students, for your hard work throughout your entire junior high education. We will begin our program with messages from our superintendent, Mr. Adams, our principal, Mr. Rosen, and then we will hear from our top three students. Hello, Mr. Adams here to share some thoughts with the distinguished members of the eighth grade class. It has been a very challenging time for everyone during the pandemic, and for you in particular, with it being your final year in middle school. I'm very proud of the way you quickly adapted to the remote learning and the tremendous effort you put into your schoolwork. I really hope you take a moment to reflect on how much you have grown academically with the assistance of our superior staff and your parents and families during your junior high years. I challenge you to continue your quest for knowledge. You are armed with knowledge and skills you have already attained and you are ready to tackle this next phase in your educational journey. Throughout the course of this school year, I had conversations with some current freshmen and I asked them what advice they would give you that may assist you as you enter your freshman year. Some of their quotes, and I took them exactly, the first one was, tell them they should get involved in sports and our clubs. I know it may sound strange, but the times I played sports this year, it actually helped me balance getting my homework and studying done better than when I didn't. Another quote from a current freshman, don't fall behind. I was not focused enough in the beginning of the year and fell behind. Trust me, don't let that happen. If you feel you're struggling with assignments, go talk to your teachers and they will help you. And the last quote from a current freshman, my brother who graduated last year gave me some good advice last summer. He said, everything counts in high school and you need to remember that from the start. He said, there is so much that goes on your senior year that you don't want the added stress of having to get your grades up to get into college because you didn't take things seriously enough as a freshman and sophomore. Hopefully some of that advice from your future classmates will help you as you enter your freshman year. Everyone stay well, and I look forward to seeing you in the near future. Good evening and congratulations to our eighth grade class of 2020. While this year was not what any of us expected, you still rose to the occasion and persevered. Your hard work and determination has led you here today as you get ready to prepare for high school. Congratulations again to you and your families. I wish you the best of luck as you close out one phase of your education and prepare to enter another. Thank you. The Outstanding Academic Achievement Award goes to the top three students in the eighth grade class. These students are Will Rosinski. Hello and congratulations to the eighth grade class of 2020 on completing this unusual school year. I'd first like to thank Mr. Martin, Mr. Rosen, and Mr. Adams for allowing us to participate in a virtual graduation since we were unable to have one in person. I'd also like to thank Mr. Martin and all the seventh and eighth grade teachers for providing us with a great junior high experience. Our junior high experience has been much different than that of previous graduates. Unfortunately, our year ended unexpectedly, and it was not in the way we had hoped. Despite the unusual events we are experiencing now, we still engage in a, var in a variety of activities, from Fall Fest to our eighth grade trip to the Statue of Liberty. All were moments we shared together, and we will remember these fantastic memories we created during these times. For many of us, our most enjoyable experiences were delivered from sports, clubs, and other extracurricular activities. From being on teams and involved in clubs, all of us made many different friendships. Getting involved in clubs, sports, and other activities helped many students with the transition from 6th to 7th grade, and becoming involved will help with the transition from junior high to high school. These activities also helped us work together towards both our shared and personal goals. For all of us, next year's future is uncertain. We do not know if we will go to school in September or if we will be proceeding with more remote learning. However, what we do know is that getting involved and having connections with others and our community will help us through the uncertainty that rests before us, assisting us during our passage into high school as it previously did with our transition into junior high. 
The fact of the matter is, there is no way around what lies ahead of us. We are unable to skip this chapter in our life that, let's be honest, the pandemic has not been ideal for any of us. Yet despite these unprecedented times, we are still, we are still who we were prior to COVID-19. We are still students, friends, athletes, leaders, and so much more. We all still need our identities to hold true, and we can't let this pandemic define who we are. Lastly, we still have many great events and achievements that lie ahead of all of us. And again, congratulations to my classmates in the class of 2020. Sophia E. Costanza. Hello, Mr. Adams, Mr. Rosen, Mr. Martin, Board of Education members, teachers, students, and families. My name is Sophia Di Costanzo, and I'm a part of the eighth grade graduating class. I promise I'll be concise and won't take up an absurd amount of your time, like my projects normally do. First of all, congratulations to all of you. You should be very proud of yourselves for not only journeying through middle school, but for completing a fraction of it online. This year was certainly not what we expected, so I commend each and every one of you for continuing to work hard and push through the remainder of the year. Now, today is a very unique day where we get to sit back and remember the times we had in junior high. These are the years that us adolescents, as Mr. Bell would say, get to really find ourselves. Some may compare these growing years to that of a flower. We begin our junior high experience as buds. We're uncertain of ourselves and the environment with which we are faced. But as we begin to step into the sun, our personalities begin to blossom and bloom. So thank you students for making this experience special and morning glorious. That was my crosser for the day. And thank you teachers for providing us with life lessons and memories that no curriculum can offer. Thank you, Mr. Bow, for teaching us how to be good advocates and for letting us apply our crazy theories to our work. Thank you, Mr. Smith, for teaching us how the government actually works and for letting us eat in class. Thank you, Mr. Monzo, for teaching us the science of the universe and for answering our pressing questions, such as how do people swallow swords and does your head explode in space? And thank you, Mr. Cresci, AKA Crush Dog, for teaching us all sorts of mathematical equations and for letting us call you Crush Dog. Students, when you receive your diploma today, I'd like to mention that this diploma is not just a piece of paper. It's a symbol of all the effort, dedication, and laughs, of course, that went into forming our junior high experience. And if life were a book, it would close one chapter and open the next. So, as we begin this new chapter of our lives, I remind you to always treat people with kindness, be yourself, try your best, and to embark on new endeavors. To those of you returning to Haddon Heights, I'll see you next year in the halls. And to those who may be attending a new high school, good luck. Have a great summer, scholars. And as always, go Garnets. And Travis Schreiber. Good evening to all my fellow graduates, family and friends, teachers and staff. A few years ago, when we transitioned from sixth grade to middle school, we were all new to the building and excited yet nervous of the new environment we were in. Like t-ball players, we were inexperienced, didn't know what we were doing, and trying to get a footing in our new spot. I distinctly remember on the first day of school, not being able to open my locker and needing the assistance of a teacher. Things didn't get much better through the first weeks of school. I lost my lunchbox and phone countless times in Mr. Rowe's class and I couldn't find my way to a couple of other classes. Things settled out and my classmates and I settled in and we figured out what it meant to be a middle schooler. Many thanks to our teachers for the guidance and the patience they provided us. However, by mid-year, the pressures of being a middle schooler started to build. These pressures are similar to the pressures kids would get from experiencing kid pitch from the first time. Our first experience with midterms, research projects, and the problem of finding enough time for a balance between social life and academics start to grow. These are similar to the pressures in baseball growth, but you are still getting better over time. By the time finals arrived, we had adjusted to our new middle school lives. Summer flew by, and before we knew it, we were walking through the junior high hallway as eighth graders. Although I kept losing my lunchbox, the rest of the pressures of school seemed more commonplace. It had become clear to me that my classmates and I were changing for the better. We began 8th grade and started 
and by the time the Supreme Court project started in December, we had completely transformed. Similar to the progression of baseball players, we were now great at what we do and ready to show our success. Sadly, school canceled midway through the year. Although we missed out on traditional experiences such as our 8th grade dance and our in-person graduation, we still had a great 8th grade year. When we started middle school, we were transitioning from elementary school children and now we will be starting high school in just a few months. As this chapter closes, my classmates and I are excited about the new experiences that the future holds. In addition, along with the great times we've had in school, I've had just as many times playing sports after school. I would like to thank my coaches and teammates for all the great sports memories. Lastly, I would like to thank my family, my classmates, my teachers, and the staff for providing a wonderful two-year experience throughout middle school. I wish everyone the best of luck in high school and beyond. Additional Academic Achievement Awards are presented to the remaining top 20 students in the class who have achieved academic honors in 7th and 8th grade. They are Isabella Camerata, Aiden Sermon, Hannah Simons, Kyle Dunn, David Clapper, Grace Teasdale, Charles Flynn, Samuel Durkin, Bridget Gotilla, Jackson Risling, Sarah Lero, Margaret Pancoast, Cameron Simon, Colin Manning, Nathaniel Rossi, Caroline Gardner, and Sierra Panbean. Hi, eighth graders. How are you? I hope everyone's doing great. Congratulations to everybody. You're living through unprecedented time and you're doing fantastic. So, Tonight, Mr. Martin has asked me to give the Eye Care Award. The Eye Care goes to a student who goes above and beyond to help, to help faculty, help staff, help friends, and, and to do more than is expected of them. So this award goes to Carolyn Gardner. Congratulations and have a great night. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all safe and well. My name is Mr. Brian Bocchio. I am the English teacher of the junior high and high school. I'm here to present the English Award. The English Award is given to the student who demonstrates the highest caliber of academics in the English classroom. The award is comprised and composed of the numerical grade from the end of the 7th grade year and the 8th grade year. And I am happy to say that the student who demonstrated that highest caliber in the English language arts curriculum for 8th grade is none other than Colin Manning. Congratulations, Colin. In the advanced class for advanced English, ELA 8, the student with the highest caliber of academics based on 7th and 8th grade scores is that of none other than Sophia Di Costanza. Sophia, congratulations as well. And congratulations to all the 8th grade students and their parents on achieving this momentous occasion in your lives. We hope you're all safe and well and we miss you. Have a great day. Hello, Haddon Heights, Junior High School, Class of 2020. I'm Mr. Smith, and it's my honor to introduce to you the Social Studies Department Award winners for the Class of 2020. Before I do, I wanna congratulate all of you on a job well done, especially for the resilience, courage, and fortitude you've displayed over the past few months, as together we dealt with the COVID-19 crisis. The Social Studies Department Award is awarded to the students with the highest cumulative average over the past two years. And this year we have three award winners. They are Sophia DiCostanza, Aiden Sermon, and Travis Schreiber. Congratulations to all three of you. And congratulations to the class of 2020. Hello and welcome. My name is Brandon Cresci and I am the eighth grade teacher here at Heights. Uh, the math department is presenting an award to the students with the highest overall two-year average in both math 8 and algebra. 
Um, so with no further ado, it is my pleasure to present Nathaniel Rossi with the Math 8 Award and Will Mrzinski with the Algebra Award. Congratulations to both of you on a great year. You've earned it. Thank you. Good evening. This is Mr. Monzo, 8th grade science teacher at Haddon Heights Junior Senior High School. Every year the science department acknowledges excellence in the sciences. It is my distinct privilege to honor this year's 8th grade nominee for this award. The distinguished recipient of this award is the 8th grade student with the highest two-year average in science. This year's recipient is Sophia DiCostanzo. Congratulations, Sophia. It was an absolute pleasure having you in class this year, and I wish you nothing but the best of luck and success in all of your future endeavors. Have a fantastic summer and stay well. Good evening. My name is Anita Mills, and I'm the eighth grade art teacher at Haddon Heights High School. The visual arts department presents an award to the student in the class who demonstrates outstanding performance, ability, and potential in their respective fields. The Visual Arts Department would like to present this award to Hannah Simons. Congratulations, Hannah, on a job well done. Hello, everyone. This is Bill Schock, band director here at the Junior Senior High School, and I'm here to present the Performing Arts Band Awards. The Performing Arts Department presents an award to students in the class who have displayed outstanding performance and potential in the performing arts. The Performing Arts Band Awards for this past school year go to Sophia D. Costanzo, Charles Flynn, and Aiden Sermon. All three of these students were also members of the Colonial Conference Honors Band this past school year for 7th and 8th grade. Congratulations to you all. Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Walker, the choir director at Haddon Heights Junior Senior High School. The Performing Arts Department gives out two awards at eighth grade recognition to those students who have shown outstanding performance and potential in choir. Congratulations to Sophia DiCostanzo and Chris Incalingo. Hola, the World Language Department is presenting um, an award to the top two students in Spanish one. These awards are being presented to Ryan Stork and Hannah Simmons. Felicidades um, y me encanta mucho. I'm so excited for you guys for getting this award. So congratulations. Ciao. The next two awards are presented in honor of Ms. Katherine Hinke, a former teacher of physical education at Haddon Heights Junior Senior High School. The physical education awards are presented to students in class who have exhibited good sportsmanship, an understanding and acceptance of others, and outstanding performance in physical education. This year's recipients are Sophia DiCostanzo and Will Mrzinski. Congratulations, Sophia and Will. The Faculty Award, presented by the Haddon Heights Junior High faculty, is presented to a student who has earned the faculty respect through constant, all-out effort to succeed in school. This award is presented to Sophia Di Costanzo. Congratulations to all the award winners. It is now time to present the certificates to all of the eighth grade graduates. Jack Alexander. Parker Banks. Riley Bygott. Isabella Camerata. Andrew Campbell, Christopher Canella, David Clapper, Drew Costello, Annalise Cuevas, Silas Davidson, Joshua Delgazzo, Beckham Demoy Martin, Gabriella Durham, Sophia DiCostanzo, Evan Dockery, Sean Dugan, Kyle Dunn, Samuel Durkin, Anna Evans, Charles Flynn, Beatrice Fraga, Sonia Frank, Larissa Gallen, Caroline Gardner, Cecilia Gibson, Robert Giordano, Bridget Gutilla, Bryn Griffin, Andrew Harris, Chris Incalindo, Kevin Incalindo, T. 
Tiana Jackson, Elliot Kurtz, Paige Lagakos, Sarah Lara, Macy Madden, Hannah McGuire, Colin Manning, Ava Marinella McGill, Lily Marino, Eliana Massey, Christine McGill, Matthew Mercado, Lawrence Miller, Joseph Morgan, Will Mrzinski, Molly Murphy, Emily Nichols, James O'Connor, Margaret Pancos, Sierra Panvini, Daniel Perkins, Ella Prazel, Aisha Ramirez, Benjamin Reef, Jackson Rising, Nathaniel Rodriguez, Nathaniel Rossi, Gregory Rotolo, Elena Santana, Jack Sarkeesy, Valerie Sarkeesy, Connor Sargent, Travis Schreiber, Amelia Semion, Cameron Simon, Jackson Simon, Hannah Simons, Aiden Sermon, Rebecca Stearns, Ryan Stork, Ryan Swanholt, Grace Teasdale, Abigail Benona, Liam Wickberg, and Quinn Zachary. Thank you so much for your participation in this eighth grade virtual ceremony. A special thanks goes out to Mr. Adams and Mr. Rosen for their inspiring messages, Mrs. Burke for organizing the program and putting the, the awards together, and especially Mr. Ortiz for creating this video for all of us. I know we are not concluding the school year the way we had intended back in September. Your eighth grade experience should have included an end of the year dance, end of the year school eighth grade trip, clubs, activities, sports, renaissance activities, but I firmly believe our experience dealing with this pandemic over the past few months will make us stronger and more resilient individuals. Your dedication to your education, especially in an online environment, is impressive. The skills you have learned will make you stronger individuals and stronger adults. I thank you for your time and attention and I wish you nothing but success in high school. Thank you very much.